What up, everybody? Welcome back. Might be doing a stipulation. We'll see, depending on what we open. We got this vintage beef stipulation where we can only take three mana cards. We can pick any color. The highest mana cost of this well cannot be above three unless it's Sun Titan or Revelark. Well, with a pack like this, I'm going to brazy be it. And then we're going to see what happens. Whenever Thank I get this you. tip, I, I want to take... Uh, I always want it to be Sultai so I can take Leovold, Time Twister, Narset, etc. So. Oh, Mucho with the 52 months. Oh my god. What a maniac. Oh man, we can't take a Fallen Shinobi? God, talk about feel bads, man. Talk about feel... Bads. Hmm. Skull clamp's pretty decent though, right? What if lingering souls comes out? I'm gonna take the skull clamp. We're gonna see what happens here. Bitter blossom's an option, Ophiomancer's an option. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Dark Confidant in a deck that can only have Costs three or less. Deal. Uh, Stoneforge actually seems pretty sweet here. We can also get Skull Clamp with it. Yeah, and there's also like nothing else we even take here. So, looks like we're looks like we're espering. What is this a deck for ants? <laughs> Ooh, balance is interesting. Sword of Feast and Famine's a good one, especially with the Stone Forge already. I'm probably gonna take Sword of Feast and Famine here. Maximize that Stone Forge package. Yeah, Michael, we're playing tiny leaders. God, you don't know anything about commander variants that are not long lived. Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, Thraven Inspector? It's got to be Thraby, right? It wears equipment well. Thraby, baby, Christmas tree. You like that song? You like it when I, when I do a variation of, of Santa Baby? Man, Anguish on Making actually seems great here. Uh, I was going to say we'd have to take Kithian, but I like an Anguish on Making. I would like some lands in order to uh, in order to cast my spells. Ooh, I like a Vras Caracas. I was going to say Vraska. It was like Caracas and Valky combined. No, no, no. Maybe no... I think it's actually Caracas. We're going to Caracas here. We're going to Caracas that ass. <laughs> Him to Torx seems good. I like Sword of Fire and Ice, but we already have a sword. I think, uh, oh, we can't get Batter Skull, though. Lingering Souls, that's what we were wanting. Fallen Shinobi comes back, and this is the stipulation where I can't take it. Damn it. 
Jimmy the Mole, what up, my dude? Sort of body and mind came back? Definitely taking that guy. Well, eh, I'll just take Rakdos. Actually, I'm going to take Inkwell Leviathan just to hate that dude. Oh, Flicker Wisp? That's okay. This is more like a two drop, so. To see gray. Yogmoth came back. Man, I'd love to play that Yogmoth, but. The highest mana cost of a spell cannot be above three. I can't. Man, this feels like a great Yogmoth deck. If you squint hard at Yogmoth, it will look like Yogmoth's will, which meets the step. Oh my god, you made me pass a friggin' Jace. I gotta pass a Jace when I'm in blue? I might not even be in blue, actually. Hold on. Maybe we're in blue. Look at the... Oh, man, Batter Skull when we have Stoneforge, and Jace when we don't have anything that contradicts a Jace. <sighs> Take an underground C. Thraven's good, too. I bet Thraven or, or Oblivion Ring come back. No one wants a Thali in their deck. Come on. Dak Faden? Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Again, Squint of Jace. Poof, three mana Jace. My logic is foolproof. You know, it really is. I think we're taking Swords here. Swords is just one of the best removal spells you can ask for. Shell Dock Isle is pretty good, but we're only going to hit a creature or a card that costs three or less. So we're going to sword it here. Uh, Dark Slick Shore is better than Mesa? Maybe. Mesa doesn't get anything we care about here. Uh, I also think Eidolon might come back. Like, we're, we're passing a lot of white creatures, but I think they will come back. I think it's more important to make sure our mana is good. Man, I had to pass Batter Skull because we can't... We can't play it. I had to pass... Jace the Mind Sculptor. We can't do Ravages. I think it's... Actually, Smuggler's Copter seems pretty decent here. This definitely feels like a Smuggler's Copter deck. Oh, there's a Revel Arc. I hate Revel Arc. But it's literally one of the only cards we can actually take here. Liliana's Triumph is fine. But maybe we just take the... Re is it Power to or less? It just doesn't get anything. It's like Stoneforge, Dark Confidant, three minutes. You know what? Sure. What the hell? I don't know if we're going to play it, but <laughs> what the hell? I like Vanguard. All right. Adanto Vanguard it is. <gasps> There's a Sun Titan. Sun Titan, however, I will. I will play. <laughs> we'll have like one Sun Titan in our deck. Ooh, 
Monastery Mentor and Kaya. That's interesting. Thousand Year Storm also. Shout out to Kerwit. I think it's Mentor here. Thalia came back just as we wanted her to. Shambling Vent came back just as we wanted it. Eidolon came back just like we wanted. We have one we have one blue card right now. But we could get more. We could also open Ancestral Time Walk. Both of those are playable. So. <laughs> What's the sip? You can just check the chat. It's command stip. Skull clamp sword decent for stone for this is also 17 playables. Revel arc would be 18. We could also store of body and mind, super easy. Oh, Legion's Landing came back? All right. Seems good. Our mana's good, too. Caracas is a nice one. Wizards needs to make cards that generate land tokens. All right, that was a bunch of junk. Silverblade Paladin's not the worst, but the problem is, like, our creatures aren't going to be that big. We're not putting on, like, a four power. <gasps> Beautiful. It's so beautiful. And we're definitely taking Mox Sapphire. And if Mox Diamond, Concealed Courtyard, or Demir Signet, or Selfless Spirit come back. Nice. Nice. I back some jerk called to ask for help in my job that is for literally helping those people. I mean, how, what, what are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? You sound like a crazy person. Oh, yo, you're saying they're rude for asking for help, even though that's your job? Well, they should still respect your your privacy, Michael. Jace Friend's Prodigy doesn't seem great. There's not a ton of things we're going to be flashing back. Um, it literally could just be Watery Grave. Then we have Underground Dark Slick and Watery Grave. So that when we overload our deck with planes, it's fine. I think it's probably Watery Grave. Uh, Sun Titan does not cost five, but as per the stipulation, Michael, five five mana doesn't even matter. That's not even a relevant part of the part of the stip. Three mana, five color aggro. The highest mana cost cannot be above three unless it's Sun Titan or Revel Arc. So, suck on those eggs. I actually think Containment Priest could probably be good. Let's let's take a Containment Priest here. Guys, do you want to reanimate um, a three drop? I really like Karn here. Ponder could be good. Honor could be good. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think yeah, Honor is actually pretty good. Let's we'll we'll Honor here. Man, creeping tar pit. We could literally have dark slick underground water grave and creeping tar pit right now. We could have four out of the five black blue dual lands but instead we have mother of runes and demonic tutor both of which and vindicate both of all three oh man this pack is this pack is great i feel like it has to be demonic tutor yeah we're gonna take toots let's take geist of saint traft here tundra oh that's great yeah, I like Gideon Blackblade, but I'm definitely taking a Tundra here. Stone Cold Serpent does have a converted mana cost of three or less. That's actually good because it gives us something to do with our mana if we draw a bunch of lands. 
Geist is good with a sword. He's good with a sword, he is. Oh, Concealed and Selfless Spear both came back. I think I want Concealed here just because um, I want to make sure we have, like, double black for him. Hey, babe. <laughs> she big sad. I know. Oh, Ophiomancer came back. Ophiomancer are actually not bad with Skull Clamp. Our mana base looks real good. We got a Mox out of it, too. Yo, Mama good with a sword, if you know what I mean. No, I uh, explain it. Oh, dear. You big mad. This is 13 creatures plus a lingering soul, which is 14 creatures. Plus a copter, which is kind of like 15. Legion's landing is 16. We have a good amount of creatures here, actually. Sure. I'm big sad. Spencer, why are you big sad? Uh, I'll just take orders off signet. We also have sort of body and mind in the sideboard, which is kind of cool. Season Hollow Blade and Ponder came back? I think I'm just taking the Ponder. Mother of Runes comes back. Disenchant comes back. Can't take... And a Gideon comes back. Wow, now we actually have decisions. Jeez. <sighs> wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we got to make three cuts. Actually, we can probably get away with 16 lands here. So we got to make two cuts. Man, that was a lot of late playables for us. Flickerwisk gets to blink Stoneforge, which is decent. Anything they have, Sun Titan... I do like Gideon. It's kind of strong. Plus, you can get about a Sun Titan. I think we can probably cut Eidolon. Maybe. Is blue necessary? No, but most of our fixing is blue, so it's not really about it's not it's not about necessity. Plus, we have a like we have five fixing sources for blue. Plus, we have a mock sapphire, and like we also have like Geist of Saint Traft is very good. Brazen Borrower is very good. So, I need two cuts. Um, I don't think double black's kind of rough. We have one, two, three, four. We have five lands that produce black. That's before we had basics. I mean, him is also just good. We don't also have to play it on turn two. I think Eidolon's kind of meh. Out of all of our two drops. I can see cutting ponder. It's just kind of unexciting. So by color. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine white sources. One, two, three, four, five, six blue sources. Two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. That seems actually pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight. This is 15 lands. Oh, and a mox. So 16, essentially 16 lands. Plus, yeah, all right. Let's see what this does.
Uh, no Orzhov Signet because we're literally maxed out at three mana. So like we play Orzhov Signet, it's like, what is it, ramp us to four? <laughs> we know only four drops. I mean, I guess we could play two two drops, but I'd rather just play a two drop instead of Orzhov Signet so then I don't need to play two two drops or I could just play a, a second two drop on the on my third turn. Oh, that was from, I imagine that, that was from the, uh, the Voren collects Cosima. So I'm sure I'll get an email any second now. And they're going to be like, hey, we gave you your money back. taking a while we did it got my email it said thanks for contesting us we're sorry you experienced this issue during a magical line of it we reverse your account 100 play points the issue previously reported to us the issue has been previously reported to us so we've added your vote to the bug feedback site okay sweet so it actually is a known issue i guess oh boy malaganos yeah this is good keep it up um, uh, what are we putting back? Probably big flicks. Then we're going to go Stoneforge, grab a sword. Play mom. Oh, we're playing against ball sacks. Okay. Oh, well, I think we might be dead. Maybe not. Okay. Well, if we hit a land, we can Demonic Tutor for a Swords to Plowshares. Yep. Or actually, if we hit a land, we can just Anguish on Making, I guess. Oh, yeah, there you go. Go to... Oh, yeah, well, they're doing it. They're living the dream. Now what? Go on. Land? One time land. Give me a land. Give me a land. Break me off a piece of that. It was a land. Oh yeah, go to six. Juicy. We're five life. Good lord, man. One, two, three. They have they have seven mana right now, so they could easily, uh, you know, kill us. Do the thing. Okay. Dark Ritual. So you spent three to cast this to get a dark ritual, which nets you two. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Uh, sure. Uh, 
You gotta take Demonic Tutor here, right? Sure. The best card you can get. I mean, didn't they have a full grip of like 30 cards? I don't even know what this does. They go to four here. I am extremely confused. One, two, three. Sure. Yep, okie dokie. I mean, they're at four, and I have snake tokens that can keep keep getting in there. Okay. Sure. The best part of waking up is going back to sleep. Yeah. Katie would agree. Oh my god, we won this game? <laughs> they drew 14 cards with Gristlebrand. Time Twistered. What? What is... What? What? What was your plan? Oh, Containment Priest? For sure. Black and green seems good. Almost don't mind disenchant because it does get rid of it gets rid of animate dead, which is one of the few we saw. We got him to Torok. I mean, we still have Swords to Plowshares, Flicker Wisp. That doesn't do anything, I guess. Uh, Anguish Done Making, Containment Priest, Demonic Tutor to get any of those, Brazen Borrower to rebounce it. Yeah, I think we got enough answers. Hmm. I don't love this hand. I love having a mox in any opening hand, and I think it, it definitely compels me to like to keep. Because like if we draw anything, we can play it. We can also we also have two very good answers to their to what they're what they're trying to do.
Imperial Seal in this economy. I'm going to run out turn one honor. YOLO. Boy, they're really going ham here. <laughs> I mean, th th these two came back. Are they like a storm deck that doesn't storm? They just kind of like cycle through cards and doesn't like nothing else. Nothing really happened here. I'm kind of glad I played Honor and Mox. Um, one, two. We'll have three mana. We can play Stoneforge. Keep up. I don't really want to pitch. I don't want to play Caracas yet because I don't really want them to know about it. I think it's just Stoneforge. Keep up swords. I get to draw another card. I mean, I forgot it was going to be a 2-3. Threshold Storm Animator. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Nailed it. Three three Geist of Saint Traft makes a five five angel. Love it. They got it in Tomb. I mean, I have Caracas, Swords, Brazen Bar, and Demonic Tutor. I feel like, unless it's like an Inkwell or a Progenitus, which is not a thing. Like, even if it's an Emerald, like, if it's a Legend, we can just bounce it with Caracas. Hmm. Land, untap land, untap land, untap land, untap land. Dang it. So I think we're just going to, I think we're just going to pass here, actually. Like, I want to be able to go, oh, actually, if we connect with this, it just untaps all our land, doesn't it? Like, that's pretty good, right? Huh. So I actually can't tell if we do play Gideon Make Geist Indestructible or if we try the sword play. Like, this is pro-black and pro-green. I can't imagine what they're going to put into play that actually deals with this. Oh, 
I feel like it's really. Because this guy's already got hexproof, so they can't interact with him. Oh, we should have played Shambling Man first. Yep, that's fine. That's, that's actually pretty good. I mean, they had Putrid up in play, so we're not terribly scared of them. Just discard. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, now we're going to feel silly for not playing this, but I, I don't think it's super relevant. I mean, I will play a Skull Clamp here because we can keep up Swords and Caracas here. Yep, get your Entomb on. For Gristle, Gristle Beezy. Animate the dead. You got it. The big bees. Just gonna bounce this guy now. <laughs> like, and then we're gonna feel bad if they somehow manage to like discard Emrakul, play a black. Shallow Grave Emrakul. I think they'd still die if they did that, to be quite honest. So basically kill you now. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. That's the end. Man, 2-0, huh? Ball sacks just couldn't compete, you know? All right, and we're back. Can of chips. <laughs> That's just Pringles. What's the trophy count this Q season? Low. Three. Burr, burr, burr. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Whatever that means. I think we keep this hand we have the most white sources by far so <clears throat> plus we have a dark confidant is this mono red this is like the first mono red i've faced off against seems likely considering it's a uh, grim lava mancer Okay, more like a red-white aggro, eh? This guy. Yep, didn't think that guy was going to live. 
Oh, we got the white mana, though. Because they only have colorless here, we're almost guaranteed. Not almost, we are literally guaranteed to get a snake because their soonest opportunity to kill this guy is during their upkeep, so. I like mono red. If MTG colors were girlfriends, I would date mono red and we would have barbecues. That's really, it's wholesome. Boy, this is, this is going well. We do get to anguish to unmaking. Interesting. Tundrino. <laughs> I kind of just like anguished on making here. Get rid of apparition, make a three three. And if they don't really, because like we're gonna take two from it anyway, so I might as well just pass. And <clears throat> and if they attack with anything else, then we just get a good time going. And if we hit a land, we can play honor of the pure lingering souls. Mono red seems like it would be good barbecues, but I also worry that mono red would be uh, a little hot headed. I suggest Iron Mon. I don't even know what that means. I mean, it was probably just Time Spiral Reborn. I mean, they're not attacking with Grim Lava Mancer, but they might have attacked with Mute Vault. They didn't, but they might have. Isn't that the most important part? <laughs> Babe, it's fine. Just that guy, huh? Really put him on, put him on tilt here. They're like, I don't know what to do now. Rubble, rubble. Oh, 
Ooh, Geist of St. Trapped. Ooh, a piece of candy. Hmm. I wonder if it's worth skull clamping one of these guys. I don't think so. I think we're at a position where we want the blockers. Interesting. Not sure that's what I would have done, but what can you do? Any chance you're related to Hillary Swank? No, zero. <laughs> I think we're just actually taking two here because next time we're going to lingering souls and honor of the pure which is pretty good Because then we're no longer trading with their creatures. We're just uh, eating them. this guy you want to block doubt it Oh, Jesus. The question was, is she hot? Not would I do her. Respect the game, Jim. I'm actually going to put double on here because if they want to, like, shoot one of my blockers in response, I still want to just be able to take care of both of these guys. So... Because they can, like, shoot one blocker in response, then they save a token for next turn. Oh, man. Good times. I don't know what this Muta Vault's doing. Are they going to block and shoot? That seems fine.
We could keep this guy alive and brazen bar, but I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, they're going to do a thing. Oh, now, see, now we're definitely doing it because they, uh, Oh, and they're like, well, that'll about do it. Oh, man, we got them. We're getting them good. Getting that goose. So they're playing white and red. We have protection from green, blue, and black. Hmm. Isn't that something? Didn't see any planeswalkers. Didn't see anybody coming into play sneakily. Didn't even see any insta- Oh, yeah, actually, disenchant could be good here. We did see um, oblivion ring. Plus, they could have some swords. Then again, we have Anguished Unmaking. Yeah, I think it's fine. What's the hold up here? What's the hold up here? I like it. Mom and the copter? Keep it. Keep it! Okay. Put the mother in the chopper. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Put my mother in the chopper. Hope you got a way to kill her. No, I don't. I don't hope that, but, you know, for their sake, it's like, I hope you got a way to kill her. They they did, they they did have a way to do that. Man, Kithian, how are you gonna act? Oh, Dark Slick Shore is a nice hit there. So now we can play this. Dang it. Dang it. Sort of feast. And famine. Wow, that's a, these, these lands have been timely. <laughs> Tell me something good. Me too. Good old clamps. So they have three cards. We know what one of them is. We're not going to attack here because, uh, well, they could just equip this and attack us. And I'd rather just block because that's, that's a scary prospect. Now that I've seen Stoneforge, we're definitely bringing in Disenchant.
Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely blocking with Copter here, so. Ooh, black, black. Let's go to the swamp here, I guess. That was a fine trade. Got to loot away a land. Oh, 3B baby. 3B baby, I'm gonna do some doo -doo -doo -doo. So... We have some options here. Thankfully, all our creatures are white, so I don't care about this too much. But we can anguish on making it if they get too crazy. We could also just play Thraven Inspector and keep up anguished on making and crack Clue. What's like, what's going on here? What is happening, man? Oh my god, I was really like, I was so into this match that I didn't even read the chat for like fucking t probably 10 minutes. Oh god. We can also just play Stone Coil because if they equip Stone Coil, if they equip this, like it's just not. Stone Coil's just bigger. Plus, Stone Coil has trample, so if we're able to, we can equip this next turn with the sword and just get in there for just a bajillion. I'm gonna keep this guy back though, because if they go like disenchant equip, I don't I don't want I don't want to take that hit, so That guy's fine. That was a good, that's a good one. So this is going to be a 6-6, six, six, so they actually don't have enough power to really like, to really do the deed. I don't even know if I tap this anymore, actually, because now we just have a blocker. Like, we saved one mana, but, like, I don't actually want to make this smaller. There's a big-ass snake. Show me your big-ass snake. And now we can go Thurman Inspector, equip its skull clamp, and keep up anguished on making for their nonsense. Like, this gets through either way because it's got trample, so they only have five five toughness to block and five power to block. So they have they have a 5-5 five, five worth of power and toughness. Three B. Three B Crockett. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put it on here because both of our equipment are in play. And if we draw Flicker Wisp, I'd rather blink Thraben Inspector than Stoneforge. So that's my theory there. We also get to keep up Anguished on making in case they equip the sword or have some nonsense like a Planeswalker that we want to get rid of. Oh my god. I can't I can't actually uh 
I can't actually listen to the chat right now. It's too it's too painful. That's that's kind of rude. <laughs> Chat Lethal Brooks Scrimmer. It's true. Well, we both have ways to deal with each other's swords. I'm actually kind of glad they put it on the stone forge because I can't deal with it on the Eidolon, but I can deal with it on the stone forge. And we get to draw two here if this if all goes according to plan. <clears throat> Oof. That's a good two. Yep, that guy's fine with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, do we just want this guy to trade with these two dudes? Thank you. I think we equip it and attack for five here. Oh, some elf with the resub. What type of car should I rent now that I'm 25 months? Well, I don't know. So I'm thinking of just equipping because if they double block, it dies anyway, but I might as well get the... I don't look at that sweet, sweet value. I mean, if they trade, it's like a four for one. They lose two creatures. I lose one creature and I draw two cards. So four cards were benefited from the one card. Play this, one, two, three, Lingering Souls first. And then we're actually just gonna play Thalia because she's just a better blocker on the ground. And the only thing that stops is Lingering Souls part two for us. This guy's gone. Oof, God. Everyone's got that gold, gold span dragon. I mean, this guy's got, this guy's got reach. I am going to chump. I think chumping is, is better than taking four here. I mean, I'm glad it's not glory burner. Glory burner is a terrifying card. This guy's just kind of obnoxious, I guess. <clears throat> yep. That seems good. Fascinating. Three, 
three lingerinos. Confidante. All right, we're gonna be drawing some cards here. I guess we should have attacked with the spirit. That would have been smart. <clears throat> the nice thing about Dark Confidant here is that if it gets too out of hand, we can just skull clamp it. Come on, no three drop. It's going to be Sun Titan for the first time ever. Ready? Adanto Vanguard? Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Swordsies. Honor the Pier. Sun Titan. Kind of glad I did that. Let's get rid of this. We just have really we have good attacks. One, two, three, four. I feel like we're actually. What do I want to see in Modern Horizons 2? I have no idea. I haven't even thought about Modern Horizons 2. There's just too much stuff happening right now in Magic. Like, you have Strixhaven preview starting. Like, I also don't really... I, I mean, the only thing I want to see is new cards. Like, I, I don't care about reprints in terms of Modern. I would love to see Baleful Strix. I think Baleful Strix is a cool card that'd be good in Modern. They're at nine. Was Call Time a wet fart? Uh, no, Call Time was fantastic. It added a ton of sweet constructed playable cards. Oh, interesting. I get some free I get some free value here. We get them cards. Oh, Caracas. Do we play a land this turn? I don't think so. So one, two, we can actually go Geist and keep up blue, white. Geist. And keep up swords here. It's actually not bad. I kind of want to just get rid of Goldspan Dragon here. But then they take seven in the air. Hmm. Oh, they also didn't get back their Season Pyromancer tokens last turn, so. Plus, if they haven't had like a weird board wipe or something, we have Sun Titan. Which is pretty good. Sun Titan, get back Geist.
I think they do it on purposes. Belfast Strix has leaked for Modern Horizons too. Oh my god, I've been waiting for Belfast Strix for for literal years. Just that guy, huh? Okay. I still got a dark confidante. It's a dark confidante. Where with lifelink is broken, it's true. I don't want to say anything, but... I think we just killed the gold span dragon. Man, they get a treasure and four life. Dang. Well, on the right side, our only six drop is in our hand. So the most we can hit off Dark Confidant is three. And we hit a zero. Bounce this thing. <clears throat> I don't know if this is lethal or not, but I mean, it's a lot of damage. They're automatically taking four, so they're at seven. They're automatically taking three, so they're at four. And if they tried to block Geist, we just bounce it so they don't gain life. <coughs> I'm trying to push my way into Mythic tonight. Well, good for you, buddy. I hope you hit it. I think we're going Dark Confidant first. It's just an extra card. They're both free cards, but this is always a free card. If we play this guy on two, then three. If we play this guy on two, and then this on three, we've 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 drawn two cards. If we play this on two, and this on three, we've drawn one card. Wizard says, Frank, we need you to work for us. Do you think it's job? Yeah, 100%. Well, I, I can't think of a reason why I wouldn't. I mean, relocating is not uh, really an option currently for me right now, unfortunately, but should have actually played planes here to keep up swords to plowshares. I'm a dumb dumb. Come back. Dude, I'd love to. I, I miss you guys. <clears throat> oh, I like that. What if they relocated with zero? I mean, like, I already said I'd take it, so I can't see what what the problem would be. Well, we know how we know how going 2-0 works in our drafts. So land here or mox. I'll take either one. Oh, beautiful. Fucking beautiful. It's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Um Let's get attacking, and then I think we just play Vanguard into Shambling Vent. I'll make Seattle have a good Italian place. <laughs> Seattle itself has good Italian places. The problem was, like, the, the surrounding areas were just, there was rarity. I also fucking love that you remember that. That's hilarious. Spencer, you're amazing, buddy. There's actually a place I forgot about that I used to go to as a child. It's in Bothell. Um, there was a place that we went to one time in like Seattle proper, and it was very good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two Gristle Dad matches in a row. I read that as a brothel. I was like, whoa, yeah, it was delicious. Used to go there as a child.
Inferno Titan. Not a bad choice. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, I, you obviously deal one, one, and one, because then we're taking five from this guy. <clears throat> but we're going to keep him alive. So this is nice because we get to go Mentor into Swords to get rid of this guy forever. One, two, three. Mentor. Burst Lightning targeting the Mentor. You got it. <clears throat> Still got a gentleman out of it. Seems okay. Okay, you got it. You don't want to F6 when you got a Danto Vanguard on the board because then you just F6 through your... through your saving his life and then you're like, oh no, he's dead now. Discarded Regisaur and Terastodon, huh? Is Living Death coming? <clears throat> well, it's a handful of no spells. So we're not going to prowess anything. I think it's just Geist into Stoneforge. All right, fingers crossed they don't have living death. No living death. That is not a living death. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> That's pretty good. How much damage is this? Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We put them to three. They do need a second black, but I was worried they were going to play second black. So. I think we're just attacking with everything here. And we get to keep up anguish on making, so. Plus, the prowess is not irrelevant here. Is there a way we could have dealt two more? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, I don't. I think I forgot about the angel damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. <clears throat> Oh, got him. Okie dokie. Well, Containment Priest coming in for the second time. Disenchant should also probably come in. I like the S for vibes. Oh, what up, babe? 
How's your McDonald's? Take out him and Torok, I guess. Probably take out Gideon. He's not very exciting. Okay. It's for all the marbles. Um, I'll keep this. Turn one, turn two Thalia is not terrible. That was right. Okay. Oh, Thraby. Yeah, I'll play Thraby on turn one instead. Oh, they have a Mox Sapphire instead of us. Oh, dear. I'll get it in Tomb. Oh, Exume. Do I have any way to put things in the graveyard? Not really. Ooh, I like a Caracas here, though. I'm just going to play this untapped. I, I don't, like, again, I don't like revealing Caracas when I don't have to. I ate like 1,500 calories. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I kind of like Brazen borrowing the Sapphire because it it costs them two mana to to replay it. I don't really want to pass and do nothing. Be I kind of like Flicker Wisp three minutes back. Nah, I don't know what to do here. They're not really close to shell docking. I don't really care about that. We can't Lingering Souls yet. We play a land? Yeah, it's turn three. We played a land. We could Flicker Wisp. It's just another body on board. The problem with Flicker Wisp, I guess we can Flicker, Flicker Wisp Caracas in case they do some shenanigans. Hmm. I'm just going to pass here. <clears throat> Keep up Brazen Bar and crack a clue. I think that's fine. Sure. Okay, we kind of need one land here. Can we get it? Nailed it. <clears throat> I'm healthy because I drink Diet Coke. It's true. She's the... She's the epitome of of health okay that's good so they can't throw the breach us here okay just burst lightning on Thalia that's actually not terrible for us to be quite honest okay we can play stony <clears throat> we can also demonic tutor for like swords Hmm. thing is they have three cards one of them is exhumed they have nothing in the graveyard i think we're just going to play stoneforge here keep up both brazen borrower and um 
Caracas. Get sword. Like, we're at a point where we can demonic tutor for anything, like swords to plowshares. Containment priest would be pretty sick, actually. If I can kill one of my guys, sure, that's fine. Probably kill Stoneforge, right? Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> There's nothing I even want to bounce here, really. Land? That's not a land at all. What can we get with you? Not a disenchant. Oh, they have an exu- Oh, it doesn't matter because it's a sword supply shares. So, yeah, that's good. We just have to find it. It's a good amount of life, though. Good for you, buddy. I don't like the look of this. So we know they have Exum and two other cards. Yeah, that could be bad. Discard Terastodon, Rotting Regisaur. Exhum. They discarded one... Wait, what? They discarded... Discards an island. Wait, what? Oh, discard an island and the exhum. So the exhum is gone. Got it. I was like, what? Because I was I was used to the exhum being over here, and I'm like, wait, now it's here. That was a little. I was like, does the client think it's compulsive research? I mean, the thing is, we really just want one land here so we can go sort of feast and famine. Oh, yes. Get in there with that guy. Beautiful. Land. Damn it. <laughs> ah, it's frustrating. And the problem is I can very realistically see us dying to the scrooping tar pit. Like Ophiomancer, we can play Stone Coil Serpent. I think it's actually Stony Maroni. 4-4 four, four seems good. If we get Sword of Feast and Famine, it's a real clock. I mean, it's turn 8. We've been stuck on 4 lands for the whole game, so... Are you a big modern Jun fan? Do you foil out your Jun deck? I don't foil out any of my decks because I like my decks to actually be playable and not uh, illegal. <clears throat> I think they're they're really getting to us with this creepy tar pit. Oh god! Well, it's a land. I do like it that it's, I do like it that it's a land, huh? Okay, we're gonna try to live this dream here. No, oh, we did it. I think. This is seven damage. I think we want the seven damage. Oh, we get to untap it all. Untap it all and untap it now. So I think it's cop. Oh god, if they have like a lightning bolt though, are we dead? Yes, the answer is yes.
six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, if they gristle brand, we have Krakus on the board. So I don't know why I'd be afraid of that. Oh, good. Let's see what this nonsense is. Oh, no. Oh, biscuits. Well, that's pretty good. Wow. Feels bad, man. Yeah, we're going to lose to Creepy Tar Pit here. We cannot petty theft any of our own permanents. <clears throat> That is not how that card works. I think we're just losing to this. I don't think I have another answer to this in the deck. Getting back Spellseeker. Fascinating. Okay, more lands. We found the lands, guys. And dead. Okie dokie. Well, Creeping Tarpit's a hell of a card. This guy gives lifelink. Now I want him back. Because I want it back. Da -da -da. And the card we're going to cut. Eh, I think it's Actually, no, we saw anime dead and sneak. Forty one? Done. Snarky Sarah, you win. Uh this hand seems real good. Imperial Seal. That's like mulliganing. That's pretty good. We're going to keep up Brazen Bar and try to just... Uh, get, our get our reaction on. Okay, that's a good one. That's a goodie. Free get in. 
mean, if they want to come at Gideon with a lava claw, that's that's okay. If you guys are, haven't done so, can you guys consider subscribing or following on Twitch? Really appreciate it. <laughs> Things slow down around uh, around the late nights, so you know it'd be great if you guys were were able to do so. Wanted to support the content. If you're watching on YouTube, you can head over to twitch.tv slash Pork. <clears throat> Subscribe or follow there. If you guys have a Twitch account and an Amazon Prime account, you can connect those bad boys. And, you know, then it's like the best day ever. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of their creature gains. Mm. Until end of turn? Until end of turn, huh? Well, let's get in there for, for Quattro. So they have an exhume, right? That's what they got. Like, what's the worst case scenario? They discard something? Like, we have Brazy B. Yeah, we're just going to put a dude on the board. Plus this guy. Vigilance. Plus, like, we have Demonic Tutor next turn for Anguished Unmaking. We have Demonic Tutor for... This turn, we could have Demonic Tutored for, like, Containment Priest. That would have been cool. Oh, my God. What did Katie say? Katie said some cute things. It's going to rile the eggs. Oh, my God. I love you, babe. What did you say? You said... I Okay, I read that. It's just a cup of buffalo sauce. One of those prepackaged ones. Yeah, you're adorable. Love you, babe. <laughs> it was so long ago. <laughs> Katie yells at me in Messenger if I don't if I don't see her messages in chat quick enough. She's like, "Hey, uh, excuse me, I sent cute messages." I feel like we're way ahead right now. Uh, to one creature gains. The lifelink is irrelevant if they block, so we're just going to give indestructible here. Right? If they block here, we're going to pay four and gain three, so we're actually losing a point, whereas right now, we're getting in there for some. So we're going to play this. We're going to go black, white, demonic tutor. We're going to go grab... I want to say containment priest because like it doesn't let them do some shenanigans. If they have damnation, like both of these guys survive, which is fantastic. I'm going to say containment priest. They're so far off of casting things. Plus it just puts another body on the board. That's because when it's, that's because they are adorable and deserve to be seen. Oh, your message has got it. I was like, what's adorable? What's happening right now? Phantasmal Image. You just copy my Vanguard? Or you copy your Spellseeker, get another thing? All right, sure. All right. You know what? Okay. Okay. Oh, they got an Entomb. Buddy, this Containment Priest is going to be Blowout City. So they have to, like, double block, right? Because otherwise they're just dead. No, I guess they could go to one. But I'm pretty sure we just exile the mocks. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about my life total here. Feeling good. Feeling good. Vintage Beef 78, man. I think this stiff's going well. Whatever happens, I appreciate you supplying it. They're going to go to one? Okay. They're going to go to one? They're going to die? Oh, God. They're going to go to two? I 
I think they're going to go discard it within tomb, try to exhume, and then it's going to be all over when we just contain a priest because they're going to have no mana left. There it is. There's your boy. Go get a Leshnorn. Oh, Ashen Rider. Oh, God. Containment Priest, dude. <laughs> Feels good. Oh, man. Love. Love letting getting the Containment Priest the one time we know it's going to happen. Oh, man. 3-0 with the, with the Vintage Beef 78 step. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Vintage Beef, thank you for the for the support and the stip. I'm going to open this treasure chest real quick and then I'm going to get out of here and eat some food. But uh, I might come back later. I'm really tempted to come back around 10 and do some more vintage cubes for the rest of the night for like a million. We'll see what happens. Oh, an, an Esau and 20 play points. I love it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.